South Korea will start mass-producing a newly developed command post vehicle later this year under a project to deploy it to the military next year. The South Defense Acquisition Program Administration signed a $44.57 million contract with the local manufacturer, Hyundai Rotom, last Wednesday for the first production of the vehicle. Hyundai Rotom led the development of the vehicle from 2017 to 20, using mostly local component parts. The vehicle is to be supplied to battalion or higher-level units of the Republic of Korea Army and Marine Corps. The Hyundai Rotom K808KW2 Command Post Vehicle will replace makeshift tent-type command posts for frontline units and is equipped with devices to defend against an enemy's chemical, biological, and radiological attack. The vehicle, which began in 2017, was completed earlier in the month. The new Armored Command Vehicle, based on the K808 platform, allows commanders to lead combats while moving around and is equipped with devices to defend against enemies' chemical, biological, and radiological attacks. The K808KW2 will use to provide means to receive information, analyze and transmit data, and control forces carrying out combat missions. The K808 and 806-wheeled armored personnel carrier is a family of 6x6 and 8x8 armored vehicles. Developed by Hyundai Rotom as a private venture in 2012, the Korean Army declared a plan to acquire 606 by 6 and 8 by 8 wheel APC in order to help build rapid response forces molded after U.S. striker combat brigades. Hyundai Rotom, a subsidiary of Hyundai Motor Group, made the K808 and 806 in competition with the Doosan Black Fox and Samsung Tiquin MPV and eventually won the competition. In September 2018, the Defense Acquisition Program Administration announced Hyundai Rotom would begin mass-producing the K806 and K808 vehicles later in the year. The vehicle was fitted with a Hyundai diesel engine developing 380 horsepower, but later this engine was replaced with another Hyundai engine developing 420 horsepower with a 7-speed transmission and 2-mode secondary transmission. This engine is used in 8x8 configuration. The vehicle has an automatic driveline management system, central tire inflation system, and run-flat tires. The K808 is fully amphibious, propelled by two water jets, but the K806 is not. The K808 and 806 have an all-welded armored hull that provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. It can be fitted with add-on armor for a higher level of protection. Troops enter and exit the vehicle via a rear automatic ramp in addition to four roof hatches.